Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today I've got a new tutorial for the Logic Pro X users and it's talking about uh, recording modes, specifically the uh, different settings for overlapping recordings. So to access these settings, you're going to go up here to preferences and then you're going to hit recording. And then down here, you're going to see a section called overlapping recordings. Now this is a very, very important section of settings, especially if you are recording MIDI and audio and you're using cycle a lot and you want to be able to, you know, overdub or do new versions of things, or you want things to be combined in your regions whenever you're recording, it's a very convenient thing to have this stuff set up right. So if you want to see my settings, these are generally uh, the um, settings that I use uh, for the overlapping recordings. But let's just talk about the different options you have here. So the MIDI and the audio are different uh, setup. So whether you're recording MIDI or audio, you're going to have a different set of settings here. But let's start with MIDI. So if I'm on a MIDI track, what this means is that if cycle is off, so cycle is on right now, but let's say that uh, I turn the cycle off and we were just to set this uh, somewhere in the session and start recording. If there was already a region, for instance, there's a region up here if we were recording this track and it comes to this region, if cycle's off, this is what it will do with the overlapping recordings or the overlapping region. So I generally will set this to merge, meaning uh, if I hit record and we start recording now, it's just going to merge things into the same region here on this track. Now you've got some other options. You can do a take folder. Take folders are pretty cool in Logic where you can do comps. So that's really useful. Um, you can also do an overlap where that would just have the regions overlapping. I don't use that very often. Uh, but you could do that. Uh, you can also create a new track. So instead of combining the regions, it will just create a new MIDI track with what you've recorded there. Uh, you can also replace the region that's there. So it will just delete this region and it will uh, record your new track there. And then you can also do track alternatives, which is kind of like take folders but uh, a little bit different. You can read up on the manual to find out more about track alternatives. It's a fairly new feature to Logic Pro X. All right, so moving down to the cycle on settings. Now this is usually what I'm uh, generally focused on, especially when I'm producing. I will usually set the cycle to a certain section. Say I'm working on the intro or I'm working on my chorus or my verse, uh, bridge, whatever. I will set the cycle in that area and then uh, record in that way. So this is saying when cycle is set to on, which it is right now, we've got uh, some of the same options. You will see a couple of different ones. You've got a create track and mute, which this is pretty nice because if you wanna just kinda jam out, figure out uh, what you wanna play specifically, or just go for a really good take, this will create new tracks and mute the previous one. So you'll, you'll retain all that stuff uh, kind of similar to a take folder, but uh, instead we're creating new tracks out of it. Uh, you've also got merge current recording only, which I've never used, but I'm just assuming that it just means it will merge into regions, whatever you're uh, recording at this current time with the record uh, active. So any existing regions, I assume that it will not uh, merge with those. So let me just show you how this stuff works in action. So right now, let's just say, since my cycle is on, we're gonna do a create track and mute. So what would happen is, let's just say, we've got a piano. Let me just hit record and then we'll uh, see what it does. Okay, so as you can see, uh, as we kept recording, it just muted the regions and uh, I was about to go into a third cycle there, so it muted this one, but it kept both of 
those uh, regions in the cycle. So I could go through and pick whichever tape. Or this one. So pretty cool, pretty useful. So that's create tracks and mute. We could also do a replace. So let's hit replace and then we'll start recording. So right there, I just replaced the first cycle with the uh, second uh, section that I did. All right, so now let's go to our audio and let's just say that we have cycle off and I'm gonna just record something really quick onto an audio track using my uh, virus synthesizer over here. So So just something a little fun, but. So let's play with that. Let's say cycles off and we can, again, we can replace it. We can create a take folder. Uh, so let's just see, we'll do a take folder. So we'll hit record. So yeah, then it just created a take folder with my two separate takes. So there's the first one. And the second one. So let's, let's try and uh, backtrack here and let's go and do, say, a cycle. And let's do a track alternative. So we'll go here and hit record. So let's see what it did there. Then we have a track alternative. So that's B and then A. Is the first take I did. So anyways, you have a lot of options here for your overlapping recordings. It makes things much more convenient and it really improves your workflow to just tinker with these and figure out which ones work best for you. Um, I've had to adjust these over time depending on how I'm working, uh, whether I'm producing or mixing or recording audio. If I'm working with an artist who may be uh, recording in the booth, then I set these a little bit differently. So you're gonna to wanna to know uh, which ones work the best for which situations. And once you get them set up, again, it's going to speed up your workflow and make things much more smoother using Logic Pro X and recording in the DAW. So anyways, y'all, if you have any questions about overlapping recordings in Logic Pro X, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learned anything in this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.